Hello everybody and welcome back to Kenmore Violin Studio and in today's tune-up I'd like to talk about keeping the finger down or KFD. Now, this is an idea, it sounds really simple, but it's actually incredibly useful at any level. Uh, so if you're an advanced player you may even find it a useful thing to think about. Uh, so keep finger down, but basically we're talking about, um, like for example in Suzuki Book 1 we've got Perpetual Motion. Okay, so those are the first few notes. So I've gone open A, first finger down, second finger down, and I've kept the first finger down. Let's see if I put the violin here, you can see my first finger is still down. Um, and, and so when I lift the second finger, the first finger is already there. It's a free note. I've already done the work to put the finger down, so I might as well keep it there. So, same again here, I've kept both one and two down. Okay, now there, I got to a point where I actually didn't keep the finger down. Now why not? Here I've lifted three because I'm going to go back to the second finger. So let's play that bit again. I lifted three, now I lift four, and two is there waiting for me. So, so, some, so it's important to know ahead of time, and we do this sort of automatically but as we get more and more advanced, which fingers we're keeping down and which ones we're, we're lifting or popping. And it's a very simple idea, and it is worth spending time thinking about it. And I actually find it useful in, sometimes I'll come across a passage that's sort of tripping me up and, and, and just thinking in terms of which fingers I keep down and which ones I lift and when I lift them can actually really help. So. Um, I'm working on the Italian symphony, second violin part, the Mendelssohn. Um, so there's a the really awkward bit in sort of a half position, it goes like this. Okay, it's really awkward, but it, it's helped me a lot just to think about, okay, it, it's like um, perpetual motion in a way. I'm keeping those fingers down, but now I'm going to pop my third finger because the next note is the second finger. Let's do that again. keeping the third down actually across two strings. So, so when I put three down, I'm actually blocking both strings at the same time. Same with one. So just knowing, having a plan for where I put those fingers when I lift them, and just knowing that it can really help the coordination. Um, another example is Go, Go Tell Aunt Rody from Suzuki Book One. KFD, keep finger down. There we go. Now I need to lift one before I lift two. So I pop one because I'm going down by two notes. KFD, it's a good tool to have in your toolbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.